Las Vegas is a bustling, fun, but expensive place to visit. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share 25 free things to do in Las Vegas. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly we have the Bellagio Fountains. Watch the famous water show which features jets of water bursting upwards timed to music. Located in front of the Bellagio Hotel, this is one of the most popular attractions in Las Vegas and free to watch. From 3pm the fountains dance to music every 30 minutes and then every 15 minutes after 7pm. Next we have the Fremont Street Experience. Enjoy the light and sound show on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. The street fills with live music and street performers each night and then the Viva Vision light show runs every hour from 6pm. For a different type of show, why not head to the Mirage? The Mirage Volcano is an erupting volcano outside the Mirage Hotel and a unique free attraction in Las Vegas. The volcano erupts each night from 8pm to 11pm on the hour and is a great thing to do with the whole family. The themed hotels of Las Vegas are iconic and mesmerizing, plus strolling through the hotels to admire the elaborate theming is a fun, free thing to do in Vegas. Head to the Venetian and the Bellagio to experience a bit of Italy, then visit Paris to see a mini Eiffel Tower. Head to Caesar's Palace to experience ancient Rome, or head down to Excalibur to become a royal. The Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens is another free thing to do in Vegas and a must-see during your stay. This is a unique place to visit and is beautifully decorated, open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Located in the Bellagio Hotel, this is a beautiful garden with displays which change each season. Then we have the aquarium at the Silverton. With over 160 species of fish and open 24 hours a day, the aquarium is a fantastic free attraction based in the Silverton Hotel. Holding more than 117,000 gallons of water, this attraction is perhaps the best thing to do in Vegas for free. Don't miss the mermaid shows, you can even have a meal during their performances. Then we recommend you head to the Fall of Atlantis at Caesars Palace. This is an upscale shopping mall on the Las Vegas Strip where you can find a collection of statues that come to life during a special effects and lighting show that is completely free to watch. The show plays every hour on the hour starting from 11am. Situated in the Flamingo Hotel is the Flamingo Wildlife Habitat. This is a surprise to many visitors, so you can beat the heat, escape the crowds of the strip, and enjoy these beautiful creatures up close. The Flamingo Wildlife Habitat is an idyllic escape with a four-acre garden complete with waterfalls, exotic birds, fish, and turtles. When entering the strip on either side, you will pass the fabulous Las Vegas sign. Stop by to take a photo at the iconic Las Vegas sign. This is a free thing to do and taking a picture by yourself is completely free, but if you are using the photography services of someone offering professional pictures, you are expected to tip. Circus Circus is a fun, themed hotel for you to explore and one of the best parts is that you can catch a free circus performance here. These start at 1.30pm from Monday to Thursday and 11.30am on Fridays to Sundays and run every hour. This is a fun, free thing to do in Las Vegas, especially if you are visiting with children. The Ethel M Chocolate Factory Tour is another great attraction to visit. You can take a free self-guided walk along the factory viewing aisle with the best times to visit being between 10am to 3.30pm. This is when you can watch the experts hard at work crafting delicious chocolates. Watching the making of the chocolates is free but make sure to stop by the gift shop to buy a few treats yourself. For fans of Coca-Cola, then make sure to head to the Coca-Cola store. This is a fun, free, quirky thing to do in Las Vegas. Located not too far from MGM Grand, you will spot the store because of its giant glass Coke bottle outside the entrance. Take a photo with the Coca-Cola bear, get some fun photographs inside, and check out the variety of Coca-Cola merchandise. Located in the downtown area, the Las Vegas Art District is a great area to explore. 
Here you can find street art alongside a collection of galleries, stores and performance spaces in converted warehouses, making it another three thing to do in Las Vegas. Art lovers should also head to the Barrick Museum of Art. Located at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, this is a free art museum which offers a diverse range of exhibitions including contemporary art and historical artifacts. Not far from Fremont Street is the Downtown Container Park. This is a hub of stores, dining and entertainment, but also a quirky free attraction in Las Vegas. This open air complex is a great place to wander around, but you can also enjoy free concerts and performances here that run throughout the year, making it a great place to escape the bustling Las Vegas Strip. We also recommend checking out the Hand of Faith. There are casinos all over Las Vegas, but for a unique thing to see, head to the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. Here you can see the Hand of Faith, a 61 pound nugget of gold, which makes for a unique photo. Then we have the Lake of Dreams. Now the Bellagio fountains are impressive, but for something just as incredible, head to the Wynn Hotel to see the Lake of Dreams. The Lake of Dreams is a light spectacle show which uses the three acre lake and a 90 foot waterfall alongside giant puppets and massive robots to create a very unique performance. The show is free to watch and runs every half hour each evening beginning at dusk. Another three thing to do in Vegas perfect for car enthusiasts is the Shelby Heritage Center. This is a free museum which showcases a collection of historic cars. Offering a glimpse into the history of car design and racing, the center is located just a few minutes from the strip. Then we have Hoover Dam. While not technically in Las Vegas, the Hoover Dam is another amazing and free attraction near Vegas. Rent a car or take your own car and drive to the dam, which offers free parking. This means that you can walk around and take in the views without spending too much money. Another free attraction outside of the Las Vegas Strip is the Seven Magic Mountains. These towering neon rocks create a contrast to the backdrop of the Las Vegas desert. This is an art installation that creates a unique, fun photograph, but is also a free attraction in the area too. Whilst parking does have a fee for the Red Rock Canyon, hiking around it is also a free thing to do in Vegas. Located just a short drive west of Las Vegas, this is a picturesque desert offering red sandstone formations and towering rock cliffs, perfect for hikers and rock climbers. You will need a car to get here though, or if you don't mind spending some extra money, you could take a tour to Red Rock Canyon from the Las Vegas Strip. We will leave a link to that in the description below. Then we have the Link Promenade. Yes, the High Roller is an impressive observation wheel, but it does come with a cost. However, the promenade which it is located on is a free area to explore. Stroll around the area and step into the 3D artworks for a mind-bending photo. Catch the choreographed light show that spans several promenade features and watch the free live entertainment which takes place most nights. Another interesting thing that you can do here is visiting the Porn Stars shop. Stop by the gold and silver porn shop featured on the TV show Porn Stars. Just a few blocks from the strip, this is a fun quirky store that was featured in its own TV show. If you are a fan of the show, this can be a great free thing to do in Vegas. We love an M&M world and the store in Vegas is a fun, colourful place to explore. With four levels of picture opportunities and life-size characters, you can meet the M&M mascots and even enjoy a free 3D movie. For those that love gaming, why not head to the Pinball Hall of Fame? Here you can play vintage pinball machines for free, but do make sure to bring quarters if you want to play the newer games. Here you will find over 200 vintage pinball machines on display, and the proceeds of paid machines goes towards local charities in Nevada. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to Las Vegas. Then to find out about the best day trips from Las Vegas, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in one of our favorite places in the US and stay creative.